Hey, it's Brickzar. We're going to be doing another Pablo that's picking a BrickLink Lego order. It's an acronym for those that don't know. And we're also going to answer some questions, and these are questions specifically about BrickLink, whether it's selling or buying. We got one from M MRN Bricks about uh, the drawer numbers. We got one from Stephen Van Trite about looking for items in your wanted list in another store. And, oh, this one's not really... Um, Bricklink related, but it is Brickzar related. Is what's that song? Where did it come from? The one I've been playing at the end of some of the recent videos. Let's talk about that. But before we're going to do that, we're doing a Pablo, and this is for Matt. He ordered from my Bricklink store. My Bricklink store is called Brickzar's Two Words. Link on my channel page, and also usually in the description of these videos. I get kind of lazy sometimes, and I don't put it in every video, but it really should be. But we're going to be doing this order for Matt, and he will be getting the signed Brickzar 2x4 red brick. And as far as those bricks go, wait, we got to do a thumbnail picture. <laughs> I've been reorganizing the studio. This thumbnail picture. Wait, thumbnail pictures are like this. I don't like that, though. Let's do... I, I, can't, I can't never do it. Okay, thumbnail picture's done. I don't even know if that's what I'll use, but uh, he's got 25 lots, 41 items, so it shouldn't take too long to pick. And this is for Matt. He'll be getting that brick and the Pablo. So let's bring the camera off of this selfie stick. All right, so we're going to be using the tray. I don't know, I don't say it in every video, but these are the trays that came in those Lego storage containers that were like at Toys R Us and other places. And uh, they're not the best for picking things out because they're square. The little one by ones can be hard. These are where we sorted some stuff. These are waiting for drawers. I got some stack ons on the way. We got some bricks our answer thingies we'll do about stack ons uh, coming up very soon. But we're going to get right to it. He's got this part in drawer 156. And it's unusual that it actually started with the lower number. So this is going to lead directly to the question from MRN Bricks. MRN says, Can you sort pieces in order? In the order of your drawer seems like you're working your way down the rack would be more efficient than jumping all over the place so my store is in numerical order <laughs> and like this first one was in drawer 156 which is right here oh he got everything so I can just take the whole drawer so you would normally that would just start and you just work your way up but what happens is and I don't know why BrickLink does this it the order of the digits has to be the same. So most of the orders that I've been picking, I actually start after a thousand. It's like a thousand and one would be the first. If they had a thousand and one, a hundred and one, which is over here, and one, a thousand and one, I think one might come. Yeah, I think it comes first because it's it's just messed up. And we've determined that the the work around that was. In the BrickLink software, if I put a zero, so that this number has the same number of digits as this, because I think it's looking at that first digit, and that's why it gets out of whack. It's not. It's doing it more like it's alphabetical instead of numerical. It's kind of weird. Got the eagle. It's still sealed in the the bag. I'm just gonna set that to the side for now, and we'll go to the next one, which is drawer 159. 159. Should have got it while I was over there. It's right here, right below it. Oh, and I forgot how many. This other thing is normally I take the tray with me, <laughs> and I didn't do it. Oh, and of course he needed two. <laughs> Being totally inefficient, um, trans clear one by two brick. Like I said, these Pablos, except when I do the helmet cam, and even with the helmet cam, they're not uh, the exact time that it takes me to do it. All right, drawer 1789. So we were down there. We're jumping all the way up to 1789. Let's see how long it takes before these numbers go out of sequence. I did it again. I forgot to look how many he got. And that is the wrong drawer. It's supposed to be a sword. What drawer did I just take this out of? Oh, I got to go watch my video. I just took one out of the wrong drawer. This is what he wanted. What drawer did I open? Comment below. <laughs> I can't even figure out my mistake. I gotta stop. I literally just went and watched my video over again. Maybe, and then I still missed it. Wait a minute. What did it? And you were right. That was the 
<laughs> oh, the error rate goes up so much more when I do these pilots. People have actually caught the mistakes, and I'm glad that I upload these as soon as I get done because I've actually been able to get the mistake corrected before I ship the item. So we're still going up. The next one is 2137, which he got all of. Great. And all these chains here. So I'm taking the drawers because what I'm going to do with these empty drawers is there should be three. Yes, there are three. I'm going to put some of the bigger, since these are the bigger drawers, I'm going to put some of the bigger pieces. I got some in this container right here as well that need to find drawers. I could go ahead and upload them into the inventory now. Uh, all these pieces, they are not visible to you. They are in my store. I just, they're stockroom items. But um, it would be, my wife had to pick them. She'd have to pick, go through all those trays and not know which trays. And I got them pretty much sorted by color. All right, next drawer, I need two from, see now it's jumping back. So it was doing all the ones that started with a one. All right, so it's doing it like it's alphabetical. <laughs> So now I'm going to 225. I need two and two and 226 as well. So 225 is these dog bones. I need two of those. And then 226 is the big dog bones. It's just coincidence that they were in consecutive drawers. But see, this is what MRN was talking about. I've been, that was really inefficient. I was picking down there and I worked down here and I picked there and all of a sudden I'm back down there again. So. Again, the only fix that I know of is to add zeros in front to where all your drawer numbers have the same digits. And, and that's great uh, because I'm nowhere close to having 10,000 drawers. But the problem we come is if I did get to 10,000 or 10,001, then I'd have to go back through all 10,000 <laughs> drawers and add another zero. And I don't really want to do that. So we're going to go to drawer 2391 and get one 2391 and one. Now I have proven that it, that does work, but I it's so easy. I got to remember every time I make a a um, 2440 two of these. Every time I make a add a drawer, which is we do quite often, almost daily. Every time a drawer empties, I got to add that drawer number to the inventory. Um, like almost I should have just printed the labels like zero nine five nine or whatever. All right, so the two of those swords. You know, like doing BrickLink, you learn things like sometimes these swords, there are different versions of them. <laughs> they look the same, and then you're like, oh, one's slightly different. Oh, he's going for the head, the uh, Indiana Jones. These have been popular items in the Pablos lately. I've had these in my store forever. <laughs> and all of a sudden, people are buying them. Ever since I did that custom minifigure, <laughs> which is basically I took Mutt from the same Indiana Jones line and put that head on it. Now everybody's buying that. Now he also got Red Knee, which is in 2593. So we're jumping all over again. Yeah. It's just messed up how this does. 2593. Red Knee is up here. Oh, I need to put him in a bag. Most of my minifigures are assembled. I know some people that bothers them, but it's easier to keep track of them that way. All right, 2638, 1 by 10. These were just added to the store. <laughs> these, I just put these in the store. We parted out some sets, and uh, those were in what we parted out. So I'm going to get that to it. Oh, no, I take it back. These are dark gray. I thought we did get some dark bluish gray. These are actually vintage dark gray. These are pieces that have not been made since 2004. So that's pretty amazing. I think those were in set 6776. I haven't parted out a lot of pre-2005 sets. All right, drawer 265, I need one. The other workaround this problem of going back and forth is I could just look at the list and because he only had 25 items in the list, I could just go through the list and make sure I'm doing them in order, but I'm actually going in order of the list. And like I said, the only way to get the list to be in true numerical order is to add those zeros. You've heard me say that enough, so I'm not going to say it anymore. 2683. Two. But I hope that is clear as mud now. All right. 
2883. I'm waving it. I said that wrong. 2833. Another sword. 2833. I've changed. I'm sorry about showing you the ceiling. There used to be a bunch of boxes up here. I've taken them down. We are in the process of redoing everything in the basement. Um, haven't had time to finish it, but I did get rid of all these boxes that were up here. They are going to put this with the other sword there. 3160. Getting where I don't have to walk so much now. 3160. 3160. Oh, this is so much easier when I'm not doing a Pablo, but I enjoy doing the Pablos for you guys. I need five of these round bricks. That's right behind me. See, I like it when we get to these that are right behind me. <laughs> Makes it a lot easier. There's three, four, five. And then 3341. 3341. I need two of those. Ideally, if you got a smaller store, you can actually just have everything that's like within arm's reach, which is nice. All right. We need your 3725. 3720 is an axle. 3725. We need this axle. Okay. Exciting, right? Picking out what is he building? What is Matt building? We need this little minifigure two barrel gun that's in 374. There we go. Going backwards again. 374. Two of those. Okay, got that. And then we need 775 one. 775 one. Alright. Then we need uh oh R25. I moved all the R draw drawers. Alright, so what I did is this area that used to be a lot of the boxes, I'm gonna put stack ons here. I gotta move that shelf out of the way. Where did I put the R's? Oh, over here. And I already forgot how many I needed. Just need one R25. These are a little harder to pick out of. Yeah. Alright, and I did add all these shoebox containers. Walmart's got a good deal on them. They're like 80 cents each. Or you buy a pack of 10 for $8 or something. So I got 20 of them. I want to get enough to fill this whole thing up. These will eventually be moved. Uh, when I, I got to rebuild that shelf. I know all that stuff may, I don't know, the casual viewer that just may be boring stuff to, to you, but um, it's like when you expand, you got to think of things like that, you know, how hard is it to reach things, and how's, how can you make best use of the space? Now, there's a couple of questions that have been asked recently that I'll cover in upcoming videos when I get to it. Uh, before we had the flood, or, or I got the house wet, I was I had literally just bought two uh, things to store the instructions in, and then we had a problem. I was going to cover that about the instructions upcoming. So now I get to the hard ones with these trays. It's hard to do with a camera. He's got that six-length bar. It's right there. Oh, of course not. This is where I could just drop the whole thing in the floor. That would be a disaster. One of those. And then tray six. I almost thought about making this tray seven. I just need to put that over there for now. Those are not added yet. Uh, he needs a, the white brick. He just needs one of them. The slope here. All right, so that is Matt's order. What did I, did I miss anything? I hope not. This is the main thing from his order. And of course the brick. I need to write that down. All right, so we got that done. I'm going to go over here and do Stephen Van Trite's question, which is, hey, Brickzar, I have a bat for you. If you have a wanted list on BrickLink. Can you search the list in one of your favorite stores for the parts rather than having to go through the store item by item to see if any of your parts show up as wanted? Hope this makes sense, LOL. Yes, it does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of these. I got my shopping cart full with a lot of different things. And that I never end up checking out. I'm going to click on this store here. Oh, that store's closed. Dang it. Let's go to another one. Let's go to Atlanta Brick Company. That's a local store. So it's very simple. 
you got to make sure you're logged in and then you you go to the store and you go to the shop and then right here it's got featured items all items newest items and wanted list let's see if atlanta brick company has anything in the wanted list and they do and i actually it's actually in my cart <laughs> i want this little brickly guy i'm thinking about if i go down to the store i may see if i can get one from them if i go visit the store i actually don't need that part anymore that was for the sand crawler and i only get those if they're really really good price and that's over a dollar they um those for tank cars but i don't need that part but that's what you do if you, so if you got a wanted list uh, and they have a lot of the items uh, more things will show up there it's really simple but just look for that i know it's it's, tr it's tricky to navigate but once you get in a store like let's do go back to the home page if i'm searching for something i know is on my wanted uh, no actually it's a lot of stuff that's in my wanted list nobody's selling but you can just let's go to gain to please they're a big store so you're in the shop then you want to go down here wanted list and there it is some of the same stuff some of the stuff i need to take out of my wanted list I already got that guy we had a haul with that that's for train cars trains trains uh, i don't need those anymore so i got to clean up my wanted list i got some some things in there that i don't need i do need that still but that's that's all you do and you see there'll be a little heart so i might do a more in-depth uh, tutorial on bricklink where i'm actually doing more professional like screenshots but simple enough question to show here from steven <laughs> all right so we got one more question from barry francis who asked that song you play someone's calling joseph olson did someone create that for you yes <laughs> they did somebody created that for me and in the comments below See if anybody knows who created that for me. That's all I'm going to say about it right now. But thanks, Barry, for the question. And thank you for the stuff that you sent us as well. And here's another random clip from my childhood. See ya. Bye. So, wait a minute. What was I going to do? <laughs> Someone's calling Joseph Olson. Don't. Answer it, Joseph Olson. Someone's calling, Joseph Olson. Don't answer it, Joseph Olson. Someone's calling, Joseph Olson. Don't answer it, Joseph Olson. And I'm looking at the wrong channel right now.